Welcome to our Back to Basics program. I'm Jerry Savelle. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about faith for healing. You know, many people right now are facing some critical situations in their life where the coronavirus is concerned and, and flu and all kind of things that are going on around us. And it's important that we learn how to exercise our faith for healing because healing, in fact, divine health is God's best for our lives. No matter who you are, no matter where you live, God's best is for you to live in divine health. So today we're going to be talking about faith for healing. And I want to invite you, if you have your Bibles with you, to open them and join me uh, in reading Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Notice once again, Paul is saying, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. Now let's stop right there. The gospel of Christ is the power of God. In other words, the gospel contains God's power. In other words, God's word is extremely powerful. It's greater than sickness. It's greater than disease. It's greater than poverty, lack, or won't. It's greater than every need that you might have in your life. And that's the reason why you need to spend quality time in the Word, get the Word of God into your heart in abundance so that you know God's perfect will for your life. And God's perfect will is that you live in good health. In fact, divine health. So notice once again, it is the power of God unto salvation. Now this word salvation in the little Greek is a, uh, a word that means more than just being saved. Let me give you some of the things that it literally means. The word salvation means healing. It means preservation. It means protection. Uh, it, it includes prosperity. It includes wellness. It includes uh, security. In other words, the word, listen what it says. It's the power of God unto salvation. Yes, it'll get you saved. In fact, it takes speaking the word of God to experience salvation. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So once again, notice it takes the word of God to experience salvation. The word of God changes your eternal destiny. But notice it's also the power of God for healing and health and preservation. So let me show you a story, and I'm sure you're familiar with it, from Acts chapter, uh, oh, Acts chapter 14. Let's go there first. Acts chapter 14, and the Apostle Paul is preaching in a city uh, called Lystra, or Lystra. And there's a man that's crippled and he's been crippled since his mother's womb, the Bible says. And this is found in Acts 14, verse 8. And he had never walked. The same, verse 9, heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and he walked. Now notice the story. It says, Paul was preaching the gospel. And what is the gospel? the power of God unto salvation, unto healing, unto de deliverance, unto wellness, preservation. Notice this man heard Paul preach the gospel. And as he heard, now what happens when you hear the gospel? Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So as he heard Paul preach, the Bible says Paul perceived that he had faith to be healed. What happened? As this man heard Paul preach the gospel of Christ, which includes healing and deliverance, then the man's faith began to take root, and he believed that he could be healed. Now remember, this man has been crippled all his life. He has never walked. He was this way from his mother's womb. Yet as he sat there and heard the apostle Paul, faith came. Faith came. Say that with me. Faith came. Faith came, and as a result of it, he had faith to be healed. And Paul picked up on it. He perceived it, and then he said, Stand up on thy feet. And the man got up, he leaped, he walked, and he was made whole. So notice it took the Word of God, 
the Word of God for faith to come into this man's heart so that he might be healed. It's the same way today. The Bible says he sent his word and healed them. You need to, uh, I keep saying this, but it's so vitally important. You need to spend quality time in the word of God so that you can build up your faith for healing. If you're going through uh, some kind of sickness and disease right now, then what you need to do is spend quality time in the Word. Go and look up every scripture you can possibly find regarding healing and health and wholeness and preservation and wellness. And, and if I were you, I would highlight them in my Bible and then I'd write them down on a sheet of paper or type them out on your iPad and go back and read those several times a day and confess them. Put your name in it. You say, Put your name. Like me, I would say, Jerry Savell, you are healed by the stripes of Jesus according to 1 Peter 2.24. And I'd go down through those scriptures and put my name in there and confess them and decree that this is what I believe. What happens? The more you do that, the stronger your faith will become. And if this man could have faith to be healed, then so can you you can have faith to be healed. There's another story that's found in Acts chapter 8, and it begins in verse 5. And it says, And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake. Now, the Bible says that Philip went down into Samaria, and there he preached Christ unto them. Or you could say he preached the gospel. And notice it says, As they heard as they heard him preach the gospel. What happens when you hear? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. It says, they heard Philip speak, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Notice the miracles came as a result of Philip preaching Christ, preaching the gospel. They heard it and faith arose. And as a result of it, miracles and healings and deliverances took place. Folks, you can have faith for healing. All it takes is you spending quality time in the Word, and once again, find all the scriptures you can possibly find. You know, if you have uh, you, uh, uh, an app, and I know you do on your iPad and your iPhone, take the Strong's Concordance and download it on your app and your iPhone. And in it, just type in the word healing or health, and it'll go to all the scriptures that talk about it and then download them, write them down, confess them daily. What happens? Your faith will grow to the point that you will begin to believe that no sickness can stay in your body, no disease can stay in your body, that by the stripes of Jesus you were and you are healed. And I'm telling you, you can grow your faith for healing just as strong as you want it. Amen. Now, I can't do it for you. I can give you uh, what I've done and what I've taught people for over 50 years, and praise God, I've got testimonies that come in from all over the world where people have done this, and as a result of it, they're now living in divine health. And God's no respecter of persons. He'll do the same thing for you. So you can have faith for healing. Amen? Now, 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 through 5, particularly verse 4, it says, And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. If you want faith over sickness, or if you want victory over sickness and disease, then praise God, you can have it by going to the Word, building up your faith, and what happens? This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. You can have victory over sickness. You can have victory over disease. You can have victory over every ailment, every illness, every disease. Amen. The Word of God covers you where health is concerned. You know, the Bible says that uh, at Calvary, Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He took every sickness and every disease on His body so that we wouldn't have to. And then Peter picks up on this and says, and by His stripes we were healed. So, you have a right to live in divine health. You have a right to live free from every sickness and disease. But once again, it's going to take quality time in the Word of God, building up your faith. And here's the way I do it. 
And this is the way I learned way back there over 50 years ago. When a symptom comes into my body, I don't go around talking that symptom. You can ask my wife. We've been doing this now for over 50 years. I just don't talk sickness and disease. I'm not saying I have never had symptoms. Yes, I have. But I don't go around talking it. I say what the Word says. And the moment the symptom comes, I say in the name of Jesus, I resist you. You don't belong in my body. Jesus took my infirmity. He carried my diseases. By his stripes I'm healed. I am the redeemed, and I'm saying so. And I will continue to confess and to decree that, and either Satan is going to quit or I'm going to quit. But I've made up my mind, Jerry Savelle is not going to quit. So it's going to have to be Satan. And you know, I have experienced many times healing would come within moments. Sometimes it came within hours. Sometimes it came within days. Nevertheless, healing always came. And praise God, I've been enjoying living in health all these years. Hallelujah. God is a faithful God. He's faithful to me. He'll be faithful to you. So once again, you can have faith for healing, faith for divine health. Just spend quality time in the Word and God will make it happen for you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I trust you're inspired by the lesson. And let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every person that's watching this program. If you're facing sickness or disease or, or anything that is tormenting your body, I pray in Jesus' name. In fact, I send the Word of God to you, and I declare that as He sends God, as I send God's Word to you, you will be healed. Now, you receive it in the name of Jesus, and just lift your hands and begin to thank God for it. Thank you once again for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Back to the Basics.